sketch a possible graph of a function f that satisfies the following conditions. It says possible because as long as you meet these conditions, the answers may vary a little bit. The first derivative greater than 0 from negative infinity to 1. So that tells us that the function is increasing on this interval. The first derivative is less than 0 from 1 to infinity. That tells us the function is decreasing on that interval. So let's go ahead and draw our axes and the start of our function. We've got on the interval from 1, this is going to be kind of our cutoff point, so I'm going to mark this, that we know to the left of this that the function is increasing and to the right of this that the function is decreasing. Let's go on to condition number 2. The second derivative is positive on the interval from negative infinity to negative 2. So I'm going to go over here and mark this interval negative infinity to negative 2. A positive second derivative tells me the graph is concave up here and from 2 to infinity. So I'm going to go over here at 2, mark that, and from 2 to infinity it's also positive so it's also concave up. The second derivative is negative from negative 2 to 2 so in between here is concave down. Now let's do our third condition. The limit as x approaches negative infinity of the function is negative 2. So that's telling us that we have a horizontal asymptote at y equal negative 2 and the graph is going to head towards that as we go towards negative infinity. Now I'm just going to do this because it could be from either side depending on where the graph ends up. Now our next condition, our last one, is the limit as x approaches infinity of the function is 0. So as we go off to the right here for our right hand behavior we are going to be approaching 0. Now that we have all of those pieces, let's go ahead and put all of this together. So we're going to be out here off towards negative infinity. We are going to be at negative 2, so I'll just go ahead and draw it here, concave up. When we hit this line we need to change concave down, but we are still increasing, so I'm still going to increase but be concave down. As I hit this change right here, this was my blue change. This is where it changed from increasing to decreasing, but it's still concave down. And then as I hit this point, this is where I change, still decreasing the rest of the way, but I change to concave up and I head towards this asymptote. So here we go. Here is our graph of our function that meets all of our conditions, just quickly to verify. The first derivative is positive from negative infinity to 1. So that means this function needs to increase from negative infinity until we get to 1. And then the first derivative is negative from 1 to infinity. This function decreases from 1 to infinity. The second derivative is positive from negative infinity to negative 2. So as we get to negative 2 we have concave up. Then the second derivative is negative from negative 2 to 2 and so we have concave down and then the second derivative is positive after that so we have concave up and we see that we head towards negative 2 for our left hand behavior and we head towards 0 for our right hand behavior.